Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I'm in this thing. So the goal for today's video is to make it 30 minutes. The last three videos that I've uploaded have been an hour, <clears throat> but mostly because I've been combining days. Um, so this is a single day. Hope is 30 minutes should do it, you know? Like I enjoy watching hour long vlogs, but I'm sure it doesn't tickle everyone's fancy. So 30 minutes, let's see. Let's see if I can do it. So today I'm doing a feature on um, a product by my friend, Lindsay Harris. Um, her company is Glam Bomb. And um, I remember when she like officially launched this company, um, she was doing whipped body butters and they came in this super cute jar that was like blinged out around um, the top. I have no idea where that jar is now that I think about it. I feel like I'm always like in my nose in these, but I'm not like in it. I'm like right here, but my nail is long. So it looks like I'm in it. I'm not. But I think that that jar, because I kept it, it's probably in Atlanta, in storage, not doing me any good here because I could totally use that little jar. And I don't know if she's still, I gotta look, I gotta look at um, her website again to see if she still does the, the whipped body butters and if they still come in those cute little jars. But anyway, um... So Lindsay's company is again Glam Bomb and I'm actually going to read her story in terms of how she formed it so that I'm not ad-libbing. Um, I do want to ad-lib after I finish um, reading what she sent me but um, so Glam Bomb was created in 2012 during a time of immense personal change um, and rediscovery. Uh, she said she started Glam Bomb a few months after leaving her abusive marriage and as she carefully attempted to find her again, she needed something that would make her feel important and that also reminded her to take care of herself. She had been in a physically, mentally, and emotionally abusive marriage for years and she no longer knew herself or how to take care of herself on those same fronts. Um, initially, Glam Bomb was a jewelry line. I didn't know that, um, but that wasn't speaking to her. I, um, she said, I began to dig deeper for what would really motivate me. Soon after, my mother reminded me of how much her mother is super cute, by the way. My mother reminded me of how much I liked making body lotions and oils for people and the chemistry involved in body care and natural health. Um, her mom mentioned that she had stopped shopping at Bath and Body Works because the products she made her were so good. So from that point on, Glam Bomb became a body products brand. Um, she said she wanted to make sure to stay true to its inception by donating 5% of sales to domestic violence shelters, which Lindsay is a huge advocate um, for women who have... Um, been in domestic violence situations and or are actively trying to escape them. Um, so Glam Bomb exists because um, God blessed her to survive what she went through. It only makes sense to support others in their journeys back to themselves. Um, so I'm actually going to give you her the Instagram. I think it might just be Glam Bomb her Instagram because every year for Domestic Violence Awareness Month, can't remember what month that is, maybe September. I know it's usually in the fall, but every year she posts the images from um, one of the times that she was physically um, abused by her ex-husband and I tell you, she's been doing it for years. Um, so she posts them for, you know, domestic, domestic violence awareness month, but then she takes them down. But every single year when she posts these images, literally it hits me, um, the exact same way. So I'm looking for her 
Instagram. Yep, it's just Glam Bomb. So G L A M B O M B. Um, at Glam Bomb on Instagram. And um, you can see what other products um, she offers. Obviously, there's a link in her bio to the website. This is not a sponsored video, but it's I am featuring her products. I don't know if I said sponsored earlier. Um, I purchased all of these products for Black Friday, uh, but I just wanted to feature them anyway because one, um, Lindsay is an amazing person. Two, I really love what she's doing. Three, I know... Um, I know how passionate she is about being able to support those that she advocates for. So um, that's why I decided to feature Glam Bomb. So right before I did this video, I actually <laughs> used the products to, what is that? Oh, my camera bag. Um, right before I did this video, I used the products, two of the products to wash my face. It's so funny, I've been looking for a new, I think I may have mentioned this in the Sycamed video as well, but I've been looking for a new facial cleanser for a good while now, um, but nothing really spoke to me um, in terms of like what I was looking to accomplish with, um, with a facial wash. And so I've just been using, uh, what is it called? Br um, I think it's like Bronner's, right? Bronner's Castile Soap. The almond scent, oh my gosh, it's like <sighs> delectable. Is that a word? Um, so I've just been using that, but it sh it it feels very drying. Like I love the way it smells, and I I use that um, for my body. But I don't know. I don't like feeling like it's completely stripping my um, my face of its natural oils. So in this facial wash, which is in this cute little bottle, there is shea butter, coconut oil, palm kernel oil, cocoa pod ash, water, important, peppermint essential oil, that's what I still felt, rosehip oil, lavender essential oil, black pepper essential oil, probably also what I was still feeling, um, clove essential oil, also probably what I was still feeling and I can smell um, the clove essential oil as I was washing my face I, I felt like I smelled the dominant smells um, not dominant but I, I definitely picked up on the clove and um, the clove and the what was the other one lavender definitely picked up on those two loved how my face felt and looked after I finished washing my face before I washed with the facial cleanser I did the scrub so this is the you glow face scrub it contains sugar almond oil this is my favorite ingredient coming up. Turmeric powder, turmeric oil, frankincense oil, lavender oil, and then um, Lindsay has a proprietary um, Glam Bomb oil blend. So this smells super good. And I left it on. I'm sure I didn't need to, but I left it on for a little while um, because I am a fan of scrubs that have turmeric um, in them. And that's usually what I do when I use um, any uh, um, any turmeric scrubs. And my face felt and looked amazing um, after I washed it off. So I did the scrub, and then I washed with the um, with the Black Ish African Black Soap um, Face and Body Cleanser. And I'm I'm feeling like new money. The other thing I got in um, my order, my Black Friday order, was, I've been crushing on this for a long time, but I just haven't, um, I just never purchased it for whatever reason. So I have been crushing on this baby forever, and I finally got it. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on because 
you can't just show like a shimmering oil in the bottle and and think that people are going to be sold so i'm going to show you what it looks like on <music> like I have a tan and I'm feeling it I I cannot wait to rub this oil all over my neck and my chest well and when I say chest I don't mean boobies I mean like my little chest muscles because that's really all that I have but like you know, my chest, I can make my chest muscles glisten. So I can't wait to rub this all over my, my neck and my chest muscles and my arms and my shoulders, oh, my collarbone, baby. And it, it smells so freaking good. Did I tell you the ingredients in the oil? Oops. Oh man, I got it on my floor. Okay, so the ingredients in the oil, oops, so the ingredients in the oil are safflower oil, almond oil, that's what I'm smelling and it smells so good, mica pow powder, rosehip oil, and then there's some fragrance. I guess it's a proprietary fragrance. I am mad at it, Lindsay. Go ahead, girl. Now I can go on a tiny tangent in terms of Lindsay. So we went to college together. I think I might have mentioned that in the beginning. We went to, we both went to Clark Atlanta University. We were both business majors. And so we had a ton of classes together from freshman year until the time that we graduated. Lindsay also got me my first internship at a... <laughs> at a record label. I'm not even gonna mention it because I was a terrible intern. Um, the, the name of the company, but uh, how awesome was she? She, so low key, Lindsay was like the plug for a lot of that kind of stuff in college. Like she was always super like professionally oriented in school when, you know, that wasn't necessarily what was driving everyone else at that time um but she was like super focused so also fun fact Lindsay and i share a birthday both of our birthdays is july 17th i absolutely love so two things that i love i love when i meet other people named veronica i just love it and i love when i meet other people who have my birthday i just think that it's the coolest thing ever so yeah Every um, every year on our birthday, we're, we're like super excited to tell each other happy birthday. Corny, but you know, whatever. So that is the Glam Bomb feature for the day. I am so in love with the way that this oil smells. Like, I legit might just, I might have to order some more because... <laughs> I feel like I'm about to start wearing this every day. And that's not even probably the best use for it. But one, it kind of has me looking a little bit golden, like I have a tan. You know, I've been struggling because I don't have any daggone melanin left. So that oil just gave me a little, hello. That oil just gave me a little hint of um, a little golden bronze color. Baby, you are not about to be able to tell me anything. Let me check the time. Okay, 11 minutes. We're good. Now, you know what I want to do for the rest of this video? I want to answer questions from Instagram. I think I'm going to pull it up on my phone. That'll probably be easier than pulling it up on my laptop. 
So last night, I asked my peeps on, I know, that's so corny to say, but I asked in my Instagram stories what questions um, people had that they wanted me to answer in my vlogs. So the first one wasn't really a question, but more of a statement. Um, this woman said, my boyfriend thinks that I am too emotional. I view it as expressing myself. So that's not enough for me to go off of because she may be, I don't want to say too emotional, but you know, there's a chance that there could be some overreacting there to to stuff. I don't know. I don't have enough to go off of. Um, so I actually asked her to um, give me a little bit more context. And um, I also asked her to record a voice tag to tell me like how she um, would approach because she told me that he thinks that she's like too dramatic when she like confronts him and stuff or like shares how she you know is frustrated about things or whatever the case may be and so um I, I have to have like more information in order to give like informed responses um to those types of questions so don't really have an answer to that one but I did want to acknowledge it um how do you know when a man just wants to be friends or desires something more so I thought that that was a good question because um, it's likely that all of us have been there before where we've, um, I'm sitting on the floor and I can never last sitting on the floor very long. I feel like I've had this affliction since I was a kid. Um, so I'm like restless, forgive me. Um, probably like moving around a lot. The camera is probably shaking. I'm gonna try to be still. So, um, it's a good question because I feel like it's something that um, most, if not all of us, have found ourselves wondering at a certain point. So, um, how do I know? Let me read the question again. How do I know when a man just wants to be friends or desires something more? So... The whole a man just wants to be friends thing is interesting because nine times out of ten, a man's angle is not to just be friends. He may, a man may call it that, um, but, but their desire really looks more like a, fr uh, you know, their desire is to have more of like a friends with benefits type of situation, which is not really a friend, um, for real, for real. If a guy purely, like I've been friend zoned before and it was the weirdest thing. Now I know how guys feel when, when they get friend zoned, man, it's crazy. It's like, you want friend zone me? Bruh. Hello? It's me. What else is there out there? I'm confused. So, I do know what it looks like when and feels like when a man purely wants to pursue a friendship as opposed to something romantic. Um, a mature man will be very intentional about expressing that and he will be and i'm speaking from experience he will be very delicate in the way that he um delivers it right so this guy I'm, we're still friends to this day and i remind him often um he's actually engaged now but i remind him often that he friend zoned me and i'm like but i'm glad that you friend zoned me because um i really like, I really, really enjoy our friendship. And I'm not sure that we would have, um, we both have, like, super strong personalities. And if it would have gone south, we wouldn't have the friendship. Um, not to say that that's guaranteed just because we both have strong personalities. But, you know, I, d I, I am content with the way fate had it. Um, but 
he was very delicate. He was very honoring and loving and gracious in terms of like how he delivered it. You know, it's still it's still rejection no matter how you how you slice it, right? But um it didn't feel harsh. So a man who wants to purely pursue friendship with you it will look like that nine times out of ten though the man like for instance the man that this woman is probably talking about i'm gonna just be real he probably just wants to smash right so he probably wants her to be okay with or <laughs> In scenarios where you have to wonder, let me say that, right? Like, so in scenarios where you have to wonder, um, nine times out of ten, the guy just wants to smash. Um, and he's okay with there being no commitment, um, there being no labels, no, like, official or formal um, goal in game. He's plenty okay with that, right? Um, when he says friend, he really means, like, cut buddy. Right, like we're we're smashing. I kind of enjoy your company. Like we just cool. What what's understood ain't got to be explained. Nah, we just chilling. I told you I ain't really want nothing serious. You know, like all of those lines. That's that type of situation. If a man wants something more, um, I think that it is completely okay to ask. Hey, like, what are we doing here? Um. You know, what, how do you see this going? How do you see this unfolding? Why do you think we came into each other's lives? Like that sort of thing to see um, how he responds to, you know, that line of questioning. And if you have a solid and mature man on your hands, um, he's going to give it to you raw. Whether you like it or love it, he's going to say, hey, um, I'm really enjoying getting to know you. Um, my desire is to be in a committed relationship. My desire and goal is to be married and have a family. But for right now, I really just want to continue to get to know you. A mature man will say that. Um, if you have someone who gives you an answer and you are more confused after he answers the question than you were before you answer you ask the question um he doesn't want more you could just go ahead and go on about your business okay all right so next question how can i learn to navigate dating apps to reach my desired end result purposeful dating um I've done dating apps a couple of times. Um, let me say a few things. One, it depends on the dating app that you're on. Two, it depends on um, where you're located. Oh my goodness. It totally depends on where you're located. Let me say this. Um, I had far more success on dating apps in, I don't want to say success. Um, more, I had more meaningful engagement in Atlanta, go figure, um, than in Philly. This, this pool of gentlemen that are on dating apps in Philly, yo, no clue where they came from. Like, none. Um, so yeah, it depends on where you're located. And, um, it also depends on what app you're on. The apps that I enjoyed the most, Coffee Meets Bagel and, um, Bumble, I think were the two that I enjoyed the most. Um, Coffee Meets Bagel would be my favorite of, of those two. I think I downloaded Tinder maybe twice, but never really did any, like I couldn't, I couldn't overcome my, maybe my ego. My ego wouldn't really allow me to be on there. Um, I think the stigma, you know, from the app, I totally like bought into it. And, and so I didn't allow myself to 
experience it so I don't have much to say about tinder um, I've never done um, what's the other one um, I've never done like black people meet is that what it is um, I've never done what's the big one I've never done plenty of fish I've never done um, Oh my gosh, I'm like drawing a huge blank in terms of what the, like that big um, dating app. It was like the first, one of the first huge dating platforms online. I don't know, I can't remember. But I've only done Coffee Meets Bagel and, um, and uh, Coffee Meets Bagel and Bumble. And I lie, I tried, I won't say that I tried it. I really just wanted to see what where Facebook was going with it. So I did pop on the Facebook dating app just to see, you know, how it was set up, how good the, the pool was, you know, those sort that sort of thing. Um, and again, the pool was pretty terrible. And um, I was pretty disappointed actually. Um, <laughs> so I, did, I wasn't really feeling it. I imagine though, again, based on where you are, Facebook dating might be that work. Um, but in terms of being able to navigate it in a way that will help you reach your end, your end result, your desired end result, um, the best thing to do is to um, showcase your personality. Um, showcase your personality and who you are as best as possible. So from your profile, um, to the pictures that you, you know, post, um, how you answer the questions, um, have fun with them. You know, like that's what I found, um, yields the best results. Like not being super serious in terms of answering the questions. Obviously you, you want to answer them seriously, but you should have fun with them. Have fun with the questions as you're answering them. Um, Pretend as if you are answering those questions in real life. And um, that allows people to kind of like get to know aspects of who you are just by reading your bio. And that then draws the right type of people in. So that's one thing that I have found um, that, that works very well. Um, you know, you don't want to do the the pictures where you're doing the duck lips and um you know you're scantily clad and uh you know you're just trying too hard you you probably don't want to do those pictures you want to do pictures where you're you're showcasing your beauty obviously but you know um if your hair is short today but long tomorrow show both <laughs> right like show that you had a buzz cut last summer and then and now this summer you got a pixie cut like I, I'm a fan of really showing um, layers, your different layers. Um, the other thing is don't be afraid to, to initiate contact. It can get a little weird, um, especially because I feel like um, a lot of dating apps have uh, nurtured egos. Um, and so it can be it can be interesting um, to sit with, you know, just feeling vulnerable and, and exposed when you are the one that like hits the heart and you're like telling such and such that you like them um, or you're blowing such and such a kiss or whatever the case may be. It can feel a little weird, but I'm totally not anti-initiating, um, you know, interactions and you know, if there's an opportunity to maybe see the answers to their questions and there's something that like is intriguing about the way that they answered their question or the content of their, their answer, say that when you, when you initiate contact with them, you know what I mean? Um, so I think the overarching thing, be real. That's the best way to navigate it. You be real and refuse to interact with anyone who is not being real. There you go. Next question. Oh, last question actually. What's the best way 
to approach the what are we conversation. Um, so this was a woman who asked this question and, um, you know, I don't believe in doing like a whole bunch of like setting stuff up, like, you know, uh, beating around the bush to ask a question. I'm super direct. Um, but I, I do frame it like, Hey, I want to ask you something. That's the only precursor. I'm going to give you, Hey, I want to ask you something. Um, I've really been enjoying getting to know you. Um, like, you know, kind of shocked me how well we got along. And, um, I feel like our chemistry is pretty dope. I'm curious, where do you see this going? See what response you get. Um, another thing you can say, I've said this in a couple of different ways before. Um, we have not, Hey, want to ask you something. We have not had the conversation about, you know, whether we're dating exclusively or not. And, um, I don't want to make any assumptions. Um, till this point, you can say I either have or have not been dating you exclusively. I wanted to know from you how you see this, um, you know, how you see us progressing from here. It's, are, is your desire for us to date exclusively or, or are you okay with us continuing to kind of, you know, explore what else is out there and maybe hang with, with one another when we have time? Put it out there, right? Like I am super direct. Um, I believe, especially like at this point in life, Nobody has time to be like, you know, scurrying around the topic. Ask the question and then listen for the response that you get. Again, if you are more confused afterwards than you were before, that's a sign. Get the heck out of there. If the response sounds like, complete BS or it sounds like game or, um, or, you know, just, it, it doesn't sit well with you. And we know, right? Women, we have intuition. We know if it's not, if the response is not sitting well with you, keep it pushing. So there's the answer to that one as well. I like doing this. So here's what I think. Why not do this every day? Let's answer a question every day. One, one question every day. I answered three or four today. Let's answer one question every day. Let's do it. See you guys tomorrow.